you think jazz loses vitality when it's put down on paper, on the charts, so to speak? Well, it all depends upon what they put on the paper, and it depends on who's reading it. Uh, you see, a lot of, uh, there are a lot of uh, things that are not really as precise as they seem to be, but they are accepted in, in the jazz world. But uh, the same arranger, when he gets to write for a symphony orchestra, he will learn that the symphony man plays exactly what he puts on the paper. And uh, there are certain little compromises, you know, that have to be made. Uh, because, uh, for instance, there's certain syncopations, for instance. Uh, this is where I think they get into more, the most trouble. I don't think it's exactly as you said, if you'll excuse me, Duke, yeah. Duke for taking issue. Uh, it's a matter of degree, certainly, because in what is known as serious music, uh, it's supposed to be an exact science and written yeah. down as exactly as possible, but it can't be completely exact. Otherwise, you, how do you account for no two performances sounding alike ever? Even in, in the most serious and most classical mm. kind of music yeah. there is, uh, there is a certain amount of musicality that can't be written down. Mm. That has to be left to the performer to interpret, and that's how interpretation what is born. Mean, is that in solo? But in solo and even, even in, in ensemble. Too? In ensemble. And that's where the conductor comes in and tries to well, make it uniform. Yeah. But in jazz, uh, this uh, leeway is much greater. It's a matter of degree, but it still exists in both kinds of music. It's just yeah, that well, what it has to be written down in jazz is harder to write it's down. The, it's, it's the understanding or the agreement that's made with the people in this particular ensemble that, that is going to play. Mm -hmm. For instance, you know, I mean, you say you write something and... Uh, uh, a set of quarter triplets or something like that, and the saxophone for the saxophone section, and they agree on whether it's going to be da 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 or boom boom boom, you know, whether exactly. they're going to add that blow in it. And th that's the difference. They do those kind of things where they don't do it in the symphony, you know. They don't. And also, you have those. vague marks like squiggles and the word smear and so oh, on, which yes, means something yes, to the player. Yeah, they, they're very technical. Which uh, Mozart didn't <laughs> use. <laughs> <laughs> But you will agree it's a matter of degree only, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I suppose so. The, uh, I think it's a, well, it's a matter of using a different language. And they, it, uh, they seem to get a different idea of uh, syncopation. And it's the slightest little degree of where the mm -hmm. anticipation, uh, as accepted in the jazz world, is an eighth note, you know. And it's, it's not an eighth But note, it can't be precisely that. And no, but, but it's a matter of agreement, I think. Exactly. Yeah. But usually it's unspoken, isn't it? You don't even have to talk about no, it. No, because every day they say, well, you know, it's like... I uh, mean, if, if you have four quarter notes in a row, yeah. you'll probably play ba 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 ta. I mean, instead of ba 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 right on the beat. <laughs>